Hey, my name is Alex, and you're watching Red Lizard Studios. And today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Lumos Smart Helmet, which is this guy right here. So the reason that's a smart helmet is it has um, turn signals built in. It has LEDs in the front and back that when you click, put on the remote and you click left and right, it will start signaling for you. So you know, so people will know when you're turning, um, especially at night. It's not really easy, that easy to see during the day, but during night, it's, it's more crucial if anything. Um, the helmet is more or less pretty standard. It's still lightweight. Um, Quality is pretty good. It's water resistant with all electronics and everything. But if you want, we'll take a quick look at it. So on the front of the unit, you have your LEDs for your turn signals. Now this will section off based on your, if you hit the left or the right turn signal. And on the back, the same thing. So if you click, if you click it on the left, you get the left turn signal here, and then on the left here. And there is a triangular strip of LEDs that when you start to break, if you have this braking feature turned on, it will light up. So people know you're slowing down and stopping. Uh, now this helmet does retail for, I believe right now for 149. I got it from, it was a Kickstarter project. I got it um, for about I think 129 as an early bird special. I jumped out as soon as I, as I saw it. Um, I did get the, the white one. They have a black and I think they have a blue. It's like cobalt blue. Um, in terms of the construction of it, it's a, it's pretty solid in terms of like the outer layer. Like it's still um, standard bike material in terms of for your helmet. Um, it's that foam. I don't know the exact name for it, but um, it has all the standard adjustments as well. So you can adjust it helmet strapped on both sides. They're sliding. They don't lock in. So you slide it up and down. It's hard to do when I'm not wearing it. Um, on the back, you have your ratcheting clicker, so you can adjust the size of it. And you do have two LED, or not LED, um, reflective strips, so it adds a little bit more visibility um, during nighttime. Now, the helmet does also have um, a magnetic charger right here. It plugs into it's held in with magnets. It's not very strong, though, so you have to make sure you put it down and do not touch it. If you're not going to do a little bit, it'll cause it to fall out, and it'll stop charging. I want to take a quick look at the remote, which is this guy right here. This also has the same magnetic charger as well, but when you click it, it flashes on which way you've selected it. This also does have the accelerometer in there, so this is what detects when you're slowing down. But if you speed up too quickly, it also detects um, braking, essentially, because it's the other way in terms of the force. So either uh, um, front or back, I guess acceleration forward or back, will trigger it. So I would say over all the other implementations that are out there, I would say this is probably the best one. Also in terms of cost, it's not too expensive for a smart helmet. Other than that, I think it's a great, great helmet. And I think bike, uh, bicyclists should invest into it uh, for nighttime riding. So that was my review of the Lumos helmet. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments below. If you want to, you can subscribe. And you guys have a great day. Bye.